welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Battle Brothers Fight Guide, where I explain to you how to defeat several groups of enemies in Battle Brothers. Today, we're going to have Ancient Undead, like, uh, you know, Legionaries, Auxiliaries, Priests, and Honor Guards. So, this is, uh, you can see the comp here. This is kind of a sub-optimal, sub-optimal comp. Um... I have no hybrids so far in this campaign. I have rolled on like 20 different cell swords and hunters, and they, none of them have the stars that I need for range and melee attack. So I'm going more frontline, but you could, you should probably have some more um, hybrid characters, like like or like more pole arms in the back. But since I don't have those, uh, I'm just with the one pole arm and then just a bunch of frontline. I have the whip. This is, has a priest. The priest makes this fight um, a lot more difficult. So I've brought a banner. I might bring the banner anyway for the disarm, but now the banner um, is very useful against for counteracting the priest. The priest has an ability that will lower your morale significantly. And you, uh, you need the banner to cover that. All right, so. Now the, uh, the way that this works is the Ancient Undead will just run at you. So they'll run at you to about like, um, like here, I want to say. So what used to happen is you would go one back, it would run directly onto your front line, like adjacent to your front line, and then you would get full attacks and beat the shit out of them. But now when I, what I've seen is what they'll do is they'll run up to like here, you'll move back one, so then you're like uh, three away. They'll move up two and shield wall. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to back up so they run into you and don't shield wall, because shield wall makes these guys a pain in the ass to fight so what i've devised is you go back two hexes and i'm just going to end turn so i keep my uh initiative my normal initiative on getting any penalty so moving back two means all right you can go back one going back two means that uh they will probably what they'll end up doing is They'll run up, they'll run up, and then the second turn, they'll run up to about here, but they won't shield wall. So you, your pole arms probably won't get to attack, but all your front line do get to attack, they'll move up and hit. And there's no shield wall penalty. Or penalty, yeah, they don't shield wall, so there's no penalty to hit. Which is great, because what makes these fights hard, especially in the early game, is when you have brothers who can't hit shit, and these guys will just shield wall for days. They'll, they'll just constantly, constantly shield wall, and you can never do anything. Alright, so we backed up, and the next thing we want to do is we want to pass all of our turns, so they will run up to us. And now I think is a good time to talk about the, uh, the Ancient Priest. The Ancient Priest has two moves. He has a uh, Miasma, and he has, like, the Fear Attack or whatever. So, what Miasma does is it'll take a, uh, like, a three... Oh, oh, there we go. We can see it. Okay. So the counter to Miasma is, if you're in this circle, you take straight health damage. It's not a lot, so it's okay if you're in there for, honestly, up to, like, four turns. That's really fine. But, um, you don't want to be, obviously. But the other Ancient Undead attacks don't have amazing armor pen so a lot of you you'll just be armor tanking this fight so taking some health damage isn't too bad but what it does is when you end your turn in the miasma you can i could pass a turn and then walk out later but if you end your turn here you will take the health damage so if uh what i'm gonna let's say like i knew he was gonna miasma here i would have these guys act and then end my turn instead of pass it so then the miasma comes i don't take any health damage i'll take it next turn but i don't have like I'm not doing the thing where, you know, you have, you pass your turn, you come back, you have, like, 2 AP, and then end it. Or you have 0 AP and end it. Because when you do that, you just take an extra turn of health damage. So that's pretty shit. But, conversely, the other attack, Fear, will make you skip a turn. It's like being stunned, essentially, because you're so afraid. So same thing how when you, uh, you pass turns when, uh, Orc Young are running at you. Because you know they'll stun you, and then you, what you'll miss is you'll miss the, the extra 3 AP you have at the end of this turn. You want to pass your turn if you think you're going to get feared. The fear mostly happens if you're trying to, like, melee down the priest, then he'll start using his fear ability more. So, 
Uh, that is when you might want to start passing your turns, even if you have zero AP, just so he uh, won't do that. And I think it's usually better to pass your turn. If you're in Miasma, you should just end your turn, because I don't think he's going to fear you in Miasma. But if you're not, I think, and you're in range, and you're, like, thinking you're going to get um, Beard, it's better to just pass, because what you end up doing, if you end up getting Miasma instead, the taking extra Miasma damage is so much less bad than taking uh, straight uh, straight up, like, missing a turn. Alright, so... Uh, probably... Disarm. Get out of the Miasma, obviously. Alright, so... What you want to do in these fights... Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, wait, no. That, yeah, that's the end of the turn. Alright, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go there. I will walk into Miasma to get this hit. Like I said, what I think I took six health, six damage. Don't really care about that. All right, I want all right. So I go one, two, three. That's fine. I'm trying out this new two-handed flail I got. It's probably not very good. All right, you're just gonna go here. I'm not gonna shield walk. You'll go first, so it doesn't matter. All right. This guy's not gonna die. Taunt is great in this fight because you want to taunt the uh, legionaries. All right, you're not gonna die. Amazing. All right. Cool. So the honor, the uh, the priest has some honor guards that will always watch, uh, follow him. So that's not a big deal. But what you want to be doing is you want to kill. There weren't a lot of guys with shields in this fight. What you want to do is you want to kill the pikes. Usually, sometimes there will be shields in the front and pikes in the back. Kill the pikes first. Pikes are the, the real threat. The shield guys will just kind of like, me, 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 hit you. Doesn't really matter. In this fight, uh, there's a lot of two-handed. This is like an honor guard in pikes fight. So everyone's equally dangerous. We want to focus down the enemies. Um, So the ones you want to be hitting, I don't want to hit this guy. Because this dude right here, he could, this dude hits him, this dude hits him, probably dies. Don't want to be hitting this guy because the mace probably won't kill him. Don't want to be hitting this guy because the shield, the spear won't kill him. So you want to, and you want to time it. So like this guy doesn't want to kill him because he can kill, like he can kill, move, he can kill, move, he can kill, move. You want to, you want to like make sure everyone is getting their attacks because this is a very armor intensive fight. So for nothing else, you want to not lose a bunch of tools. Undead, I'm pretty sure they have fearsome as well. So, um... You'd want to not take a bunch of morale hits is on top of the priest doing his uh his stupid fear attack so uh, i'm gonna hold here because i think these guys are gonna die i don't care about taking a hit from a kopesh but i don't want to take hits from uh other stuff you're gonna move i'm gonna pass see no miasma damage but all right dead awesome all right you go here Smash! Didn't get a kill. It's too bad. All right, you're just gonna go here. I don't, I'm not worried about that. Um, stuns, great, amazing. All right, get out of the miasma. You're gonna help over here. That's fine. Probably should def almost definitely should have uh, stunned there. Missed. 95. All right, we're gonna taunt here. Because uh, that means he won't shield wall. Because once they start shield walling, you have to either A, wait a turn to taunt them again. Or you have to uh, just, like, suffer through it, which is really uh, not the way to go. Alright, so we're going to taunt. He's... Alright, you're going to walk up and kill him, so he's probably going to act first. He's almost definitely dead, and I'm going to taunt you as well. Ah. <sighs> Doesn't, I was supposed to hit this guy, but I, uh, I missed regardless. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. We're going to taunt there. Go over here. And taunt again so he doesn't shield wall. That's why I say taunt is uh, particularly good in this fight. Awesome. All right. Just going to do that. Miss. Ooh, this flail 
legendary 200 flail is not really uh, not working out. Oh, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Def All right, what I should have done there is I should have waited to, um... Should have waited for their disarms to pass and then stun them. That would have been a smarter play. All right, you. this seems pretty good, so you're going to walk over here. You're not going to walk to these guys because then they you can just hit you because you're not taunted. I'm going to shield wall pass, so then he'll act, hit him, then I can taunt him for next round. This was a misplay because they lose the disarm turn and, and nothing else. All right, he's lost his... Uh, see, this is where Rally is good because he's breaking next to dudes in Miasma. Like, <laughs> not, not the play, bro. Alright. Nice. Alright. Uh, I want to go here, not... Actually, yeah, probably. Because what this does is it allows me to walk in and hit the pike, and I don't really care about hitting the guy with the shield that much. Alright. So we're going to taunt there so he doesn't shield wall. I don't even know who acted there. We're going to taunt this guy so he can walk up and hit. We're going to taunt... Him. Uh, probably taunt that guy as well. Miasma's gone away. That's great. Uh, didn't rally. He lost his turn. Again. Uh, actually, no. I'm probably probably am gonna walk up. He is taunted already. You're missing everything. Oh, and I got time both. Alright. Actually, I could probably just kill this guy. But no HP. Watch me get head and not do it. Uh, if you haven't noticed by now... Alright, let's see. Oh, you are turned on, so we're just going to get a kill there. Stun there. Is that... Uh, I'm not... Like, there's skeletons. So, in, in any video game, you obviously know skeletons are resistant to, uh, like... Uh, hit head. Yep. Skeletons are resistant to, um... Attacks like spears or uh, what? Else? All right, you're losing HP, so I'm just gonna go out here, I guess. Spears or arrows or crossbow bolts. Uh, it's not really the, the spear way. Oh God, wait, when do you act? Twelve, nine. Thing I could uh, line attack. Actually, I think I'm gonna do. That. I'm gonna try and line attack the priest next turn. All right, so we're gonna go and try and disarm as well. But yeah, so I'm bringing many, many blunt weapons. You know, shit like maces. I brought the sword for the line attack because you know if you have the shield wall, the shield wall guy, and then the pike behind him, you could line attack through. But um. You know, it's all, it's like axes and, uh, like flails and a mace and whatever. So, th it, again, another reason why this is a hard fight early game, because early game bros use spears and swords, because they can't, uh, do anything else. Alright, we're gonna haunt. Make sure this guy doesn't die of, uh, die of a bunch of bullshit. Awesome. Alright. I probably could have just passed there and hoping that I would kill them both before the, uh, the turn ended. Not quite. Priest has really got himself in a decent position there. Sorry, I had to make a, a cut there for making it. But... Uh, issue, this fucking guy is about to, about to die. Alright. All, get, no, you can't get there. Alright, so I'm gonna walk forward. You're not gonna have to stand to do anything, son of a bitch. Uh, that, alright. <laughs> We're having some real issues here. Jeez Louise. 
Alright. Alright, that miasma went away. Where is the way over? Alright. So you can see how this fight is kinda over. Oh, he's feared, so he won't move. Interesting. Blocking sight, blocking sight. Alright, you're gonna pass, because you're gonna... Uh, let's see, do you have enough to rotate? Yeah, you do. Alright. More, more fucking miasma. Just what I need. All right, you're essentially done. Uh, you're essentially done. All right, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. All right, get in there. Get in there, come on. Come on. There we go. All right, so, what do we see there? We saw good use of taunt. We saw uh, the positioning. The really important part about this fight is the moving back two, so then they run up and then they don't shield wall. There wasn't many people to shield wall, but nevertheless, imagine that there were. Like, just extrapolate this fight into your mind. And the next time you see, uh, like, ten legionaries with shields, just imagine they won't be shield walling when you do this. So that's the, uh, that's the point. And is the big key decision of this fight is to uh, make sure they don't shield wall. So you need to taunt, you need to use uh, stuns or staggers, I guess, could help that as well. But you need to make sure it's not a slog fest. Uh, yeah, early game, I was saying it's a problem early game because you guys who can't hit anything or they're using spears or flails or like crappy maces and axes and like, you know, pitchforks, which don't do a lot of damage. So make sure you bring stuff like a, like a two handed axe or a, uh, you know, a bill hook or a pole hammer. So take it might be a little bit late to take these fights, and you maybe don't want to take them in your early game, but that's fine. They don't really offer that amazing loot, so it's okay to wait and not do these in the early game. Hope you found them useful. I'll see you guys around.